Hello, I'm Andrew Kaunitz, Professor and Associate Chair in the OBGYN Department, University of Florida College of Medicine in Jacksonville. Today, I would like to discuss the safety of using vaginal estrogen in women who've been treated for breast cancer. Currently, more than 3.8 million breast cancer survivors reside in the U.S., reflecting high prevalence as well as cure rates for this common malignancy. When over-the-counter measures, including vaginal lubricants and moisturizers, are not adequate, vaginal estrogen represents highly effective treatment for genitourinary syndrome of menopause, or GSM, a common condition associated with hypoestrogenism which impairs sexual function and quality of life. Use of vaginal formulations does not result in systemic levels of estrogen above the normal postmenopausal range. Nevertheless, the Food and Drug Administration lists a history of breast cancer as a contraindication to use of all systemic as well as vaginal estrogens. In premenopausal women, chemotherapy for breast cancer often results in early menopause. Aromatase inhibitors, while effective in preventing recurrent disease in menopausal women, exacerbate GSM. These factors result in a high prevalence of GSM among breast cancer survivors. Because the safety of vaginal estrogen in the setting of breast cancer is uncertain, Investigators at Johns Hopkins conducted a cohort study using claims-based data from more than 200 million U.S. patients, which identified women with GSM who had previously been diagnosed with breast cancer. Among some 42,000 women diagnosed with GSM after breast cancer, 5% had three or more prescriptions and were considered vaginal estrogen users. No significant differences were noted in recurrence-free survival between the vaginal estrogen and no estrogen groups. At five and 10 years of follow-up, use of vaginal estrogen was not associated with higher all-cause mortality. Among women with estrogen receptor positive tumors, risk of breast cancer recurrence was similar between estrogen users and non-users. However, concomitant use of vaginal estrogen and aromatase inhibitors was associated with a higher risk of breast cancer recurrence than use of vaginal estrogen alone. Although this important paper's findings have limitations characteristic of observational studies, its large size and careful analyses suggests that in selected, well-counseled breast cancer survivors, off-label use of vaginal estrogen may safely improve their sexual function and quality of life. I'm Andrew Kaunitz. Please take care of yourself and each other.